Good morning, friends. Welcome to my channel, JB's Crochet. I am Amber, and today is Home Day, November 13th. Wednesday, November 13th. So, today, I actually got some of my week four done on my cowl from Juan not like all of it but I got some of it <laughs> going I just gotta figure out where this so I wasn't sure let go I was not sure what color to do next I had originally decided that I was gonna do red blue green blue red but when I was laying this out the blue would have been like, like the blue would have been really close to the blue here, right? And so I was just like, you know what, let's just do red. So I started doing the red. I, I think that's a good choice, right? So I did my one round of um, white single crochets to kind of thicken up the white a little bit. and do all that fun jazz and now I am working on putting the rest of the red in for week four and so that's what I'm going to do I think is do red for week four and then um, I, it, I'm hot mess express this morning because you know I'll try it like I need to close this. It's gonna all open. Um, it's a mess around here, and this is like falling. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. Put this over here. <laughs> so I'm not sure where I want to put the white in for the next section where where I want to frame in week four right so because the way he has it it looks like It kind of looks like you put granny, like almost like three peas in a pod, granny stitch, kind of. According to the picture on here, it looks like three, three and one, three peas in a pod in this one area. I might have to wait because I need to know what week five is. I don't have a frame for my white. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait till week five comes out with when I get far enough on week four. Like the last two rounds, I'm just gonna hold off. I feel like for to see which one I'm gonna do with the the white because I don't know with the way I've been doing. The framing, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to put this right there. Um, so, yeah, that is, I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep going until, you know, he comes out with week five. Let's see um, how I want to frame it in because I've been doing, you know, framing in my weeks, basically. <laughs> so that's how I did so far. All right. Put that over there. I haven't touched my other one today, or I didn't touch it yesterday. 
Um, I got my week four started on that and just, you know, did that. Another thing I did yesterday, <laughs> I started balling up yarn um, from mandalas. So this mandala cake, if I look at it correctly, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. It's hard to, it's hard to decipher some of these. But there's a granny square, a granny hexi, hexi cardigan that I found um, that I was going to try. And it has tapered sleeves and all this fun stuff. So this is one mandala cake. And they're broken up into the, let's see, one, two, three, six. See, there's nine colors. Part of me, I can't tell. I feel like I feel like those are two different colors, right? They kind of feel like two, yeah. Is it this one? Yeah, those are definitely two different colors. Oh, excuse me. I feel like maybe these two are close, but even that, they feel like they're... They feel different. So, I got nine colors. And little bits of some colors and a lot of others. So like, it looks like these two colors had small amounts in it for some reason, if I'm doing it correctly. If I'm splitting them up into the right colors. Um, and then the, also this one has a little bit too. So sorry. It would be eh, these three have little bits, and then these three six colors have a little bit more. So this one, these two have like medium amounts, and then you have the rest in like large amounts. It's 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 funny. So I think what I'm going to do is as I pull the colors off of this other one, I'm going to add them onto what I have in here. Um, and then the reason I'm doing this is I'm, I could have used this same, so funny thing is, is the hexi cardigan that I found is made with this identical yarn cake and everything. So I thought I would give it a chance and um, make it the way they made it. And they, they, they recommend balling up each individual color and cutting them and using to um, change colors every round or whatever the amount of rounds is. I can't remember. I think it's every round. And so, yes, I would have tails, but I want to try. And so I'm going to, as I come across the color here, I'm going to ball it up onto the old, the other ones that I have already. I'm going to attach them, do my little magic knot, cut the, cut the ends, you know, and start winding. And because they used two of these, so and I have two for the size that I'm going for, if I'm, you know, looking right. So, 
That is what I'm going to do later today and get that done. It is the Mandela Baby um, cakes that are three weights. Um, it, this is the Echo Caves colorway. It is at Walmart. And then I got... I have said this multiple times yesterday, but there's a reason this is called Peaches and Concrete. Look at this. It like holds its shape. And I can manipulate it a little bit and it like just, look, it held its shape when I manipulated it. <laughs> it stays. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, hide behind this. <laughs> So I got this far on the thermal stitch yesterday. Notice how it's a little wavy at the bottom there. I think it was a little looser when I started out because it's, as you can see, it's wavy and then it's just, it's tight up here. Ah. Oh, it went under my chair. Go figure. Well, I guess I can't work on this now, darn it, because it's under there. Oh, nope, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. Hook, hook retrieved. I see. Yeah, I always have a dishcloth or a, as I'm calling this one, a whatchamacallit. I always have a, watch, a whatchamacallit that I end up going... I am not a huge fan of this, so. And I'm on, so I used up that first cake, that little cake I showed you guys yesterday. And I'm into the second one. So. <clears throat> this is what I've left of the second one. Like, this is a, I had just started this one. And. Yeah, it's taken that much to get this far. So I'm gonna say a full little, one of those little tiny cakes, a full one minimum for this thermal stitch. I went there, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this. Yeah, I think after I'm done with this row, I'm going to measure this and see. I think I'm close to where I need to be. I don't know. It looks square enough to me. And I'm done, honestly, making this thermal stitch that I want to just make something else for whatchamacallits. And I came up with that because, you know, I don't want to necessarily make a dish cloth for people and they have to use it for dishes. I want to make whatchamacallits. I'm going to call them whatchamacallits. <clears throat> um, so that way, and be like, look, it's 100% cotton, whatchamacallit. <laughs> you can use it for hot pad. You can use it for trivets. You can use it for dishcloths you can use it for a towel if you wanted to to soak up things like a napkin of sorts like whatever cotton usage you want to use in the kitchen with it go ahead because it's a whatchamacallit and you can do whatever you want with it i feel like there's a commercial in there oh i am tired this morning I almost didn't get up because at 6.20 I'm looking at the clock going, oh, I need to get up and do my thing because I turned my alarm off at 6.15 this morning and that five minutes felt like it went by forever now that I think about it because I'm like, it feels like forever ago that I turned off my alarm.
but we had some storms roll through last night. Um, not bad storms or anything, just light as the weather app, whatever I saw, I can't remember where I saw it. It said light thunderstorms. I'm like, okay. I mean, they weren't severe, I guess. <laughs> uh, just some lightning, thunder, and rain. You know, so it wasn't destructive, so it wasn't severe. <laughs> Didn't have like the hail and, the, you know, the tornadoes, so I guess that's a good thing. So anyway, it rolled through at about one o'clock this morning. And of course, I don't sleep when it, when it thunders. I wake up. I don't know if it's just me being a mom and going, oh, well, we're gonna have kids coming up. And we had kids wake at that time between one and two this morning. So I had to go, you know, do my mom duties and you know, remind the youngest that we're okay, um, that it's just sound and light. It's not gonna hurt us. The sound of the thunder is not gonna hurt us. You know, the flash of the light, it's not gonna hurt us. You know, I said, it's not a big storm. So it's, you know, there's nothing to worry about. It's just, you know, it just keeps us awake. So he eventually fell back asleep. Um, but yeah, he was, you know, he was a little on the PTSD trauma side, scared side last night because, like I said before, the storm we had back in end of July, I think we traumatized, he was traumatized by because it got pretty scary. And uh, so he, like I said, he has a little bit of PTSD from that storm. And even before then, he, he didn't do well with the storms, but that just kind of, I guess it, it triggers now for him. So, okay. I am trying something real quick. I am slip stitching across. Actually, maybe I need to do, I should have looked this up before I came on here to see what I need to do. Oh. I don't want to pull that stitch out, but I'll just re-put it in, I guess. All right, I need to remind myself how I finish off this thermal stitch without wasting too much time on here. Oh, I don't have my tablet in here. I have to go get my tablet. Um, let's see. I feel like I need to go through all three. round it off it doesn't it just it's it's cotton is not wanting to work with me right now I don't know I mean it's a way to for sure end it off because I feel like it's working. I don't know. I can always frog it out. It's not like it's permanent until I, you know, t knot it and tie it and all that fun jazz. So I'm going through all three. I'm the two loops of the single crochet that I that I used to do the one the thermal stitch, and then the one loop that I left open from the row below. I'm going through, that's what I mean by all three. Um, Uh-oh, I single crocheted where I should have been slip stitching. There we go. <laughs> I had to frog back four stitches. So I really need to get on the ball with my, my kid's blanket. So that is gonna be my focus today on what I crochet. I gotta force myself to do that. As badly as I wanna put more stitches on this blanket, I really need to make myself put a lot of stitches on his. Cause I need to get to the halfway point so I can, you know, start making it go down. And, well, and just to get it done, really. All right, I 
don't know if I'm doing this right. So this thing requires way too much concentration. <laughs> and thank you guys for, for the compliments on this. It is definitely warm. I honestly threw it on over my pajamas this morning instead of getting dressed. Because I said, you know what, it, it works as a cover up. <laughs> and I don't mind telling you guys that. So yes, I, it's going to be a, a lazy day, I think. Like, I'm going to try my darndest to make the kids not play video games today, but my oldest two are playing, um, they've got this Minecraft education on their, their computer, laptop computers, and they have been at work busy at work creating a house in a world that they've created and they are using like YouTube videos to help them create this thing I guess and it's taken them days to get to where they're at right now they put I guess they put a movie theater it's like a mansion they put a movie theater in it I think they said it's so funny but you know what it's it's I love it for them because it's it's a educational thing even though yes it's Minecraft education that's not why I'm saying it's educational they're learning how to just build things and okay not build things correctly in the real world but just I don't know it's and they're you know what they're teamwork it's te they're working together to do it so I like that they're getting along they're not fighting it's amazing, y'all. So I will take it where I can take it, right? And I hope I'm doing this right. It is just a bunch of slip stitches across, so I think it's done right. I don't know. I like it, though. I like the edge that I'm getting. It's giving me a nice finished... I'll show you here in just a moment because I'm almost done with the row. Three, two, and this one's gonna be tough. There we go. One. All right, so before I finish it off, so this is, um, I slip stitched across and joined the, like I said, and it, I don't have that, that that edge like I normally do from the you can kind of see the has a little bit of a dashed line right there but it blends so I think I think I'm gonna call it good I think this is gonna be for my house I don't think this is gonna be a gift because look I, it's too loose up here, and so it, like, doesn't, you know, and then it, like, tightens up at the bot at this end down here, so I think I got tighter as I worked on it, and so <laughs> it is wonky. This is, I'm like Juan when it comes to, like, gift, like, making things for people and other people, like, I think... Amanda at Tap Mom and the Bag Brigade, she's the same way. Like, and I think a lot of us are, you know, we want to give our best work to people. And I know there's family that would be like, oh, it's fine. You know, we'll make it work. I don't want to give it to them that to begin with like this. Like it just, there's just something. And you can't really see it on the camera, I don't think, but it's, it's really stiff up here for the most part. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of drape, but down here it's, I, you can kind of see the waviness of it. Like when I hold it different ways, it's just, just the way it, see, just, yeah. It's gonna be for the house. I'm just gonna call it good here, honestly. Cause that's big enough for a hot pad. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna call it done. <laughs> yep, that slip stitch edge, I don't even care if it's the, 
the way right way to do it. I think that's the way to do it. And at this point, I like it enough that I'm just going to go and chain mm, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that'll be the hooks I have around here. I'm going to say those are going to be big enough for 10. I could, so what I could do is slip stitch back down and, you know, to make it a little thicker. Hmm. I'm going to go to 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first one. And go back into my chain because I got plenty of this left over. I'm going to go back into my chain. Maybe if I can figure out <laughs> oh, which way to go here. There we go. Maybe. I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. Here, you know what? We're just going to do this. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to do like, you know, 14 single crochets into this. Oh, yeah, 26. All right, three. Now you're just going to hear me count. <laughs> Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Actually, I can go more than than fourteen. Uh, twelve, and they're too loose too. Thirteen, fourteen. Come on now. 15, 16, 16, I could definitely squeeze more in here. So I said 16, I'm on 16. I'm trying to squeeze these around because I can get more on here. Yeah, just gotta fix this one right here. I don't know what happened to it. There we go. 16. <laughs> Sorry for the quietness. All right. So 17. Eighteen. Nineteen. 20, 21, I'm going to go to 25, 22, this is hard to do with this handle, 23, like just flipping and flopping, 24, 25, and then I'm going to slip stitch back into find something somewhere back into my main body of this thing just to give it some stability and a little bit more like holding on to something <laughs> I'll show you just here in just a second all right so <clears throat> tighten my slip stitch down I'm gonna chain two and you know what we're gonna use my handy dandy new clover I got this for the air the airplane. I think I already showed you guys that. So, oops. I'm gonna try and figure out how to do this. There we go. 
Got it to work. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna whoop. And hopefully now with acrylic, this double knot. There we go. Slides. So, all right. I will worry about my tail later, but there you go. There's my handle. Here's my spout. Dip me over and I'm all done. <laughs> like I said, this is going to be for the house. This is nothing special. It was just something to work on. I'm not a huge fan of the handle, but you know, <sighs> it's for the house. And that's pretty much how it's gonna lay or hang on my wall. <laughs> ah, this handle, I tell you, it's nothing to write home about, that's for sure. They could have used a few more stitches in there, but. It's not bad. It's just, I don't know. I'm very, very, very particular about things and it's just not the best. It's not my best work. And so that's why I am going to make other, whatchamacallits for my family. And yeah, we're not going to do that again. So, um, I hope you guys have a fantastic home day. And don't forget, it is a beautiful day to be kind and positive and go make something beautiful. And we'll see you on the next one, friends. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you all for returning if you're a returning subscriber. And thank you for showing up if you're new and being here and supporting me, giving me those thummies, you know, the little likes and the comments. Those always help and go a long way. I do really appreciate those. And all right. We'll see you on the next one, friends. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Bye.